Hello, so I hello. This is me. Uh, uh, I'm creating this video to show you the design of uh, uh, a roundabout that has been given. So first of all, I've already created a civil 3D file. It is actually a civil 3D metric file. Here you can see that uh, if you right click on this, you will see that civil 3d 2023 is op there so open it up and i already created this file so that uh, while shooting this video i am able to do this very easily so now waiting for the civil 3d file to open up so this is the picture here you can see that that we have to design this roundabout and civil theory we don't have any surface we have we don't have any proper data but we just have to create this on civil 3d so here you can see that there are two streets number one is the Sleon street and the Clinton street so Clinton street and Sloan street and this is the roundabout that we have to create okay so moving on <coughs> this is the interface of civil 3d now we do not know how much uh, lengthy this criteria would be this road would be so uh, I've just drawn a line here we have drawn the line now we uh, now if the, when the line has been drawn uh, we are going to calculate the length of this file so this is probably 24,069 meters so we do not need this so I'm going to shorten this line and I will try to create a look which is very easy so I'm putting a scale factor of 0.01 so this will be converted into 240 something I guess yes it's 240 something so now I'm going to put an alignment so uh, for alignment I'm going to go to the alignment creation tools here you can see that I've added Sleon Street so this is the center line alignment type and if you see this is the design criteria I'm not going to use design criteria I'm going to use the general concept there so the site is now this is alignment style which is proposed alignment style could be any anything we have so many styles um, which have been put in default i opened the metric file it already had alignment layers in this particular so i'm going to show major stations at 100 meters increment while i'll be showing the minor stations at 20 meter interval okay so next step is that i'm going to create a, an alignment so we have two criteria number one is tangent tangent no curve and then the second one is tangent with curve so we are here I'm going to use tangent tangent no curve because there is no curve so I'm going to put a line so this line says, says that this is uh, 0 plus 00, zero. this is 0 plus 100 then since the end point is 241 meters so this is 240 uh, I've rounded that off so but now the point is that if I <coughs> look at the picture this length is as longer as twice of this Clinton Street so Leon Street is two times of the Clinton Street so I'm going to round off a value and I will try to increase the length so I will extend the polyline that which I already put so this is how I extended it now I will increase the length so this is 240 and this is now 348 and further increasing it it will be showing 3 84 so the end point is 392 so i'm uh, i'm gonna make it 30 0 plus 400 so that uh, 200 is she becomes the midpoint of our data so here i'm <coughs> using uh, the offset uh, extent alignment but here i'm going to go to the snap settings which uh, will be uh, and, uh, and i will switch on the perpendicular type so the perpendicular is there so now i'm going to extend the alignment to one point so this is 0 plus 400 so my slion alignment has been finalized so i've deleted all these lines now 
uh, I'll be uh, marking a polyline on this line so that I can have an offset of 200 meters for the perpendicular alignment that is going to intersect this alignment so now it is going to the second alignment which is Clinton Street so no this is going to be similar all such functions will be similar so now I will go to Clinton Street tangent tangent no curve with curve or no curve because there is no curve so it doesn't matter so <coughs> I'm going to uh, own sphere turn on perpendicular so this is our perpendicular line so this is going to be 200 meter here you can see that this is 200 meter offset and this is the length of the Clinton Street is 200 meters so this is our uh, first step that we have demarcated two alignments so I've erased those uh, points now if, if we look at if we look at this intersection we are going to see that this is uh, <coughs> there are different lanes in this lane on street we have two lane this is the central radii radius while <coughs> we are going to assume it as we are not given any dimension but we are going to just use the uh, roundabout command so this is a, this is the own street these are two this is one lane but if you have a look on these lengths we assume that this is 3.5 meters each side this is 3.5 and this is 3.5 and now uh, uh, I'm gonna turn to the uh, to my offset part so my uh, <coughs> here you can see that I've stopped the recording the reason that uh, my app doesn't record more than 10 so I'm opening the second part so here uh, I'm gonna record it again so I've recorded it so this is uh, Clinton Street here you can see that I have one lane uh, which is the uh, exit lane and also this is exit lane this is approach load this is exit road so here you can see that uh, <coughs> these are the uh, we assume that each lane is lane divide in individual lane is 3.5 meters these these are the split islands which are very important and in roundabout design so now we'll move to our alignment so i'm going to put alignment offset so an offset will be 3.5 meters on each side this is just a representation of how we are going to create the offsets so these are this is just, this line work is very important in our design uh, in our design matters as well so next step is that i have created two offsets on the right of this line and one offset on the left so now i'm going to open up a circle radii here you can see that i'm going to turn out and i'm going to trim all these lines which are not important so here you can see that one two three four so now these lines have been removed this green one is the alignment so uh, i'm going to offset that is that it, it has two lanes on this side so now i'm going to change their uh, layer changing their layer so uh, the lines can, will be 10 so that it can be visible here uh, <coughs> the point is that now oh this one line is left so i'm gonna uh, delete this so for deleting that i'm going to put a polyline on perpendicular on this so now i'm going to trim this come on okay so these are two alignments now we are going to create the alignment <coughs> roundabout for roundabout we are going to use the intersection design in the uh, home tab of create design so this is the great intersection here uh, clicking on this intersection will show us about that it is asking us the select intersection point so if i open this we can have you can see that there are so many things involved uh, but we need to create a roundabout so for roundabout this is add approach and this is now we are going to use the uh, command 
create roundabout so this configure roundabout tools shows about different criteria so naming that roundabout a design roundabout so uh, we are going to turn out turn off this elevation step because there are no topography data involved so here we have different standards as well uh, you can simply see that the standard used in this criteria is to be adopted so this is our central island and now central island is 25 i'm assuming that it is 25 and this is happened it is actually the drainage buffer and the circulatory lanes will be one as it's been so this is where the standards are open here you can see that we have different standards australian austrian australian austrian brazilian british czech danish and holland i guess here dutch well anyhow <coughs> we'll be just shifting to uh, the u.s junction design because yeah, it's a internationally world war here you can see u.s federal highways administration this is an in informational guide 2010 so here i'm going to use uh, f the hwa rural single lane roundabout <coughs> because my circulatory lanes are one so <coughs> these are the visibility signs well i'm just going to double click it and uh, this and if i double click on this my standard will be adopted now this is the appearance design you can see that light colors for background you can see that these are some elements of intersection where we have uh, different criteria for different uh, setups or crosswalks construction line custom line and all that things so i'm going to keep it uh, okay i'm going to keep it as it is as if we have the dark background for the light colors so i've clicked it and now the roundabout tab has been opened and here you can see that this is a roundabout if i'm going to put it right at the intersection point of two alignments here is the midpoint so clicking on it the alignment has been uh, the roundabout has popped up and you can see that this is the central diameter it's probably 25 meters yes it is 25 meters and this is the drainage buffer it could be, it should be one meter and this this is the auxiliary lane or the main rotational lane but we are going to find out soon that how these things have been formulated <coughs> so our next step is if i click on this roundabout i i am going to see different catch points if i uh, move click on the outer point i'm going to see that the radius can be changed and the parameters can be shifted this is how we can move the roundabout with these commands it's very obvious that we can uh, conclude it from here it's very easy and it's very comfortable for users <coughs> So clicking on this roundabout will show us the roundabout details. Here you can see that the color and the layer is also mentioned. This is the alignment uh, roundabout report. This is the junction points where we can add crosswalks, dry lands, approaches. The approaches are these. So this is the T junction. So there are going to be three approaches mainly. So we are going to add approaches. To this uh, to this roundabout so clicking on this we can add approach from here, here as well or we can just click on the roundabout and add the approach so I'm going to click on this 
click on this line and one this is yeah, you straight. Right? So, uh, my video is about to be recorded the the video that i'm already recording so the lane is 3.5 so the approaching lane would be 3.5 or 3.5 so for, if the central media is one so this is how central median has an effect on the design of roundabout so here you can see that uh, I do not want any width, any di any median width or central alignment offset. So this is one. So arm one, Sleon Street. This is going to be 3.5 meters approaching, and departure will be 3.5 as well. Okay. Here you can see that we have added simply the uh, Sleon Street arm one. So next moving on to the other part so this is uh, we have put uh, arm one here you cannot see anything but once we uh, refresh it we are going to see some radii as well so these are some sign boards have been already been uh, put on so now it's time to put on the align the read so now we are going to put uh, <coughs> And uh, the second approach, which is arm to Sleon Street. Here you we can click on this and we can play with this. This is how we can manage our words. So now here you can see that we have different corridors, headlight displays, swept plot analysis, levels, gradings, dimensions. We have everything here. We can just check them and we can edit them and we can modify them. So roundabout is a bit different from civil 3d other uh, other elements of civil 3d as roundabout has its own design criteria fixed in it so moving on to the next part uh, we are going to include the second so this is the yield sign yield sign is actually the wait and watch system this is the approach side actually uh, now this is an American system which is the right hand right hand uh, drive conditions so the next part will be about this is the next part about will be about the approach number two this is approach number one arm one this is the central island and now if we add another approach we are going to click on the roundabout and then add approach from the top now this is here it's a bit different you can see that this is arm 2 Sleon street with the name will be same now the approaching lane will be 3.5 as well and the departure lane uh, in for uh, the departure lane would be half of this as we already mentioned the option this is 1.75 so open this is the lanes will be 2 okay so here you can see that we have put the departure lane or the here uh, but there is a bit of confusion i guess that uh, this roundabout is a us based roundabout and uh, the roundabout the design that we are supposed to do is uh, regarding the <coughs> left hand traffic so to incorporate the left hand and the right hand traffic uh, our next step is to use the uh, approaches approaches uh, settings and we are just going to reverse there so first we are remove this and then i will add it again so this is approaching i'm going to use two lines this is uh, 3.1.75 i will put 1.75 here and the departure will be 3.5 okay <laughs> so i'm going to add it again lane is approaching to Two lanes on the approach side. <coughs> <coughs> approach side three point one point seven five, 
and departure will be 3.5 actually this is a bit reverse here we have uh, different radii settings as well here you can see that is visible 55.43 is the radius which is very important and tree or exit radius so these are both similar but again it's been reversed so adding this approach again the departure would be two lines 1.15 and the approach would be uh, one two lane one lane of 3.5 so now it's it's going to be okay but this is how uh, our system is because this is uh, the sound about is a difference so we cannot do much about it but uh, you can see that this is how our intersection our roundabout that we require looks like so two legs have been created already so the next part will be about creating the roundabout Clinton Street, of Clinton Street. So this is the third alignment. This is the second alignment. This is Clinton Street alignment. Now we have one lane here on the left side and two lanes on the right side. The offsets have already been marked. So clicking on this roundabout. So I will add another approach. Clicking on the alignment will give us a course. So now we have settings. This is arm one. Clinton Street. So there is going to be only one arm, and this is the last approach that we are creating. This is uh, two departing lanes, which are three one three point five because this is a big lane, and uh, we already concluded their line lanes as lane width as well three point five three point five. Here you can see that I've created the departure lane, which is uh, in actually which is the uh, approaching lane so this is a bit of confusion we don't have to worry about this so uh, this is how i will just uh, undo my changes i was just exploring this so now the, you can see that the radius the departure radius of this particular system is we are just going to increase it we are, uh, we are just going to increase it by using our cursors and the catch points that over that have been provided you can see that the rays being changed here so re reversing my undoing my work a bit i just have to check whether my 10 minutes have been passed for this recording You can see that these radii have already been mentioned here on this table and there are some signs can be seen as well I'm uh, just refining the final touches of this uh, intersection this is how we can click our sun the curb as well so now adding a slip plane for this but I don't think so that the slip plane is going to work because uh, uh, our intersection uh, because our roundabout is a bit different here you can see the slip lane exit in is not solvable because the radius is quite different so oh, no reversing my decision now outer etw radius is too large so now i'm going to just these are some design matters that show us different values so yeah, these are angles and i just i'm just going to increase the approach of uh, arm one of uh, so in uh, <coughs> Leon Street so you can see that it is very handy and it's very easy to use these protocols this that is <coughs> freezing but here, whenever I, we, I change it it's you can see that we uh, things just get in a different way but there is no issue this is uh, uh, we are almost done with our uh, pound about now the next step is that adding slip line again but mm, this slip line is not available right now because this uh, angle is not very much suitable for this so I just did that so just I, so that I can see so that I can tell you 
so the seedling is very important so the next step is that uh, so <coughs> our three approaches are almost finalized here you can see that this is approach number two this is a roundabout and here we have we can have different properties we can add crosswalks we can add speed sp speed streaming but here in the main design uh, we do not require any of any of these strips but we can just add them for uh, jewelry purposes or our civil 3d purposes the center of this utensil states the uh, the signboard of roundabout so here you can see that outer exit radius this is arm one and now i'm going to uh, open up the roundabout properties and these are these properties that we are using in our roundabout here we can have we can see you can see this is uh, the rumble strips are open and i've just added rumble strips so that any vehicle that is approaching the uh, roundabout can have a smoother or they can just slow down and their approach speed becomes near to 20 or 30. these are some properties so uh these yellow lines show the design lines of uh, offsets of offsets of uh, these roads so rumble strips are on well these these are some analysis types this, this is how slip lane looks like here you can see that this is a separate lane so we do not require any separate lane for vehicles passing we are just going to use the uh, roundabout area and so this is why i did not put any uh, uh, slip lane so this is actually a design roundabout it did not add any uh, uh, separate uh, slip lane because this is a single single lane roundabout this is exit of this is the entry approach of arm, arm two so all these parameters are available for us. so it says cannot have both rumble exactly so we are just going to turn out uh, speed stripping and then I'm just going to turn on and I will keep uh, keep down the rumble strip so <coughs> RKD headlight analysis can be done RKD analysis is done but we do know we're not using any other uh, information network so I'm just visibility analysis so if I put an visibility analysis you can see that uh, one of the one of the approaches uh, we have one departure or approach uh, of arm to Sleon street has been vanished so we are just going to undo this and we are going to adjust our roundabout in such a way that we do not find much complication so the, you can see the we can add uh, uh, crosswalks here and this is how we add crosswalks as well crosswalks are very important at for pedestrians they're not for other bike users or cycles these are the rumble strips that have been added so, but we do not need to add them we have to uh, we'll just, we'll, i'll just delete these rumble strips or speed strips these are actually uh, rumble strips so uh, i just wanted to show you that why uh, this has been deleted so if i delete so if i go back to the properties tab we can see that uh, so i just un undid my work and here everything is fine so visibility check has been over but we have to deal with it these this is the roundabout signal this is the approach and rumble strips are provided at the approach so the vehicles are turned so this is arm two going to the arm um first arm one i'm going to check the rumble strips so there's no rumble so arm two i'm going to check the rumble uncheck the rumble strips yes here rumble strips yes rumble strips are checked so i'm going to un undoing it unchecking it this is arm two this is arm one so rumble strips are not needed in this particular case here 
we are just at the finalization stage of our roundabout it is uh, this is how we create a roundabout so now adding a bit of jewelry stuff like crosswalks so i'll be adding crosswalks everywhere on this uh, roundabout so this is near uh, this is on uh, clinton street this is on uh, stayon street this is on Sharjah arm too so we have three crosswalks for each system so this is how we design our roundabout